Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today's video has been resting in my editor for like uh, a few weeks already. And it'll show you how to glitch the Galaxy livery onto your Molotov. Doing this glitch will also put the Molotov into your MOC. So before you start doing this glitch, please remember that I have a video on how to push your aircraft back into the hangar safely without having a dead spot. So glitching the Galaxy livery onto the Molotov is actually slightly different from um, other vehicles. This is because it actually uses a different set of livery to transfer, which is why I am actually showing this video. I've actually sped up the video on the glitching process, so it won't take half as long as it should be. So if you need to see the detailed steps, you can either slow down the video, or you can refer to another link in the description for the general steps. But you will need to use this video to actually see what livery I buy on the Vagrant in order to get the livery on the Molotov. So I'm going to do this glitch out of the arena. You will need a bike, the Maxwell Vagrant, and also an almost full arena workshop with one empty slot. So the first thing you want to do is drive your bike out of the arena, call in your MOC if you haven't done so, and then drive towards your MOC. Once you reach your MOC, you want to drive onto the back and enter the MOC by pressing E. Once you're inside the MOC, get back on your bike, press and hold W to come out. So when you spawn outside, your bike should disappear. Open up your interaction menu to MOC services and request for personal vehicle. It should spawn on the map without a personal vehicle icon, just go look for it. Once you get back onto the bike, you'll want to drive it back into the arena workshop. So once you are inside the arena workshop, go to your Maxwell Vagrant and drive it out of the arena. Once you are outside of the arena, go into your interaction menu under the vehicle options and let the cursor rest on the Molotov. Then exit the car, select the Molotov and get back into the car. It doesn't matter where the Molotov spawns, we're not going to go to it. But once it does spawn, then you can start making your way back to the MOC with your Maxwell Vagrant. Once you reach your MOC, enter it with the Maxwell Vagrant. When you're inside, get back into the Vagrant, press and hold W to come out. Whether or not the Vagrant disappears is not important. If it does disappear, just um, call it back out using the interaction menu and MOC services. If it doesn't disappear, just drive it straight back into the arena. So on my part, it has disappeared, so I'm calling it out and I'm driving it back into the arena. After you enter the arena, you will find that um, you actually made a dupe of your Maxwell Vagrant, which is why it is now in this position. Just walk out and take a look. There you go, the original Maxwell Vagrant is on the other side. So get back into your Vagrant and press E to modify. So the livery that you will have to buy over here is actually the Desert Fractal. This is the one that's going to transfer the Galaxy livery onto the Molotov. So just make sure you buy the right one. Once you're done, just exit the workshop so that the game will save whatever you have bought. After that, just go straight to creator mode from your pause menu. After you have loaded into creator mode, press P for the pause button again, and then select to go back into an invite only session. So when you do spawn back into the arena, just go to the spot where you last left the duped Vagrant and you should see that it is empty. Well, it's not exactly empty. The Molotov is actually there, but it's invisible. So what you do right now is to buy the free LG RH8 and select to deliver it to the MOC. And now you just have to wait for the RH8 to be delivered. It'll take some time to deliver, so I'll just cut the waiting part. When you see that your LG has been delivered, call it out using the MOC services menu. And when the LG does arrive, you're going to want to drive it back into the arena as well. Since your arena right now is full, what you will have to do is to actually select to replace one vehicle. So just scroll to the slot containing the Molotov and press accept. So what you just did was to use your LG to push the Molotov into the MOC. And the glitch is officially done. So I'm just going to run on foot all the way to the MOC to check uh, on the Molotov. Again, do remember, if you want to push it back into the hangar, please watch the video that I put out. The link is in the description. Follow the video so that you do not get any dead spots in your hangar. Of course, if you want to keep your Molotov inside the MOC, you can do that. 
but your hangar will always have one less slot. So there's the MOC. I'm just going to enter it from the back. And here's your Molotov complete with the Galaxy livery. You may want to change the color of the Molotov just so that it will show off the Galaxy livery to be more obvious. Dark colors like black, dark purple, spinnaker purple, and even midnight purple will work great. Next, I want to show you how close it actually spawns when you actually call it via the MOC services menu. So here I am back outside the arena. I'm just going to open my interaction menu and um, go to MOC services to call in the Molotov. Usually the game tends to spawn personal aircraft in um, weird places or inaccessible places, which makes it very inconvenient for you to actually go to the aircraft. But once you have aircraft in your MOC, they actually spawn like personal land vehicles, which is why you actually see the Molotov spawn so close to me on a road. And that's it from me today. Do drop a like and subscribe for more videos coming up. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.